I'm in Flanders, I'm in my home country and this is an area that has been suffered a lot in World War I and World War II. So this is a monument that they put it here in 1930 just to remind all the uh, people that died here, all the soldiers that died here. And it's made just uh, to keep peace, to remind that peace is very important. And the letters on top of it is all for Flanders, Flanders for Christ says on uh, the ground there no and never war again i have passed here i think 100 or 200 times in my life i never been in there uh, there's a museum in there and we're going to visit that we have come here with the bus with the old timer bus so it was a nice tour and then we are going to drive along the water uh, and there uh, some other monuments that we are going to see later on and we're going to end today on the sea the belgium sea Okay, let's visit. Beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> the view up here is amazing. So there is the sea where we go later on. You can see. I don't. I don't think you're going. Wait. I'm there. You can see uh, the hometown Ruslare where I live. Uh, we can see the windmills. Uh, that's creating electricity. We have a lot of them uh, and we can see them. But everywhere here uh, it's written down what you can see. So how many kilometers it is from here, like Zaren, 7 kilometers, Hetz, 17 kilometers. It's really cool. You really have an amazing view over the Flanders landscape. But you have to keep in mind that like more than 100 years, more than 100 years, like in 14, 1940 to 1914 until 1918 uh, uh, it was a lot of battle here and also in uh, 1940 until 1945 crazy battles here uh, just I always want to say thank you to to the soldiers that fought here and gave their life for their freedom so it's really flat Flanders is really flat we don't have any mountain or big mountains we have little hills but not mountains but I love my Flanders
So these are pictures of the soldiers and the people that are trying to live a normal life in times of war. Uh, so here you see uh, they are making art of, uh, of the bombs that fell off of the sky that didn't explode it. So they, they opened that and they created this, uh, some kind of art. You can see it here. Uh, this was all created uh, from the bombs. These were all created by soldiers uh, to kill the time. Um, but they, they, they did not only play with, with the bombs, they, they played football or baseball. Um, even the barber. And I don't think they pay them, but they pay them in cigarettes and, and liquor or something. Uh, and here are the the ditches that they uh, dig uh, to protect themselves. And after this museum, we're going to see some uh, canals that they dig in the ground uh, to hide. And that's the next thing we're going to visit. There you can go into the dark, and the sign says. They can be shocking images and people with, with a, a bad heart can have a heart attack or something and my kids are scared. They don't want to go inside. What the hell? Is it so scary? It's dark. It's dark. <laughs> let's go. Let's see what's there. Let's go. Wat is het? Ja, foto. Ja, Achter mijn Ik ben hier 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 not so scary, it's just remaking the, the feeling of, of the mustard gas but the most scary part is, is that the pictures are real so that actually happens to people mustard gas attacks it's really how cruel people can be it's crazy so here you can smell chlorine gas and here you can smell mustard gas <laughs> what are you doing here? What the hell? You're trying to scare us? I was trying what to scare us. What the hell? I'm just filming here. There's a, there's a big head. <laughs> An ugly big head. <laughs> These were the beds of the soldiers imagine this is how can you sleep on that <laughs> toilets this was the time imagine the smell So that was the museum here in the Iser, Iser Tower. If you want to visit this, this is really cool to see. Uh, we are going to eat first. Uh, we are all hungry and we're going to eat first before we go to the next monument. And then it's the last of the Great War. Otherwise we'll be so depressed on a Sunday. But we have to see this. Uh, this is if we go on 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 the travel in another country we are visiting everything and in flanders there's so much things to see we didn't see them all so let's 
make it count that we every time on a Sunday we visit something different in our own country and it's something maybe you should visit if you come to Belgium Mmm, sticky fishy oh. Oh. and carbonara Trench of death, trench of death. So, so it's very close with the Isaac Tower. So you can see there is the Isaac Tower, and uh, here they collected all these uh, uh, these trenches. Uh, so it's really something strange to see, but it's. Really something should be kept so everybody can witness the horror of, of war. So the amount of people that died here is immense. So uh, this is the biggest site they uh, they found here uh, of uh, trenches, and these are sandbags, uh, but they spray them with some kind of cement, so it becomes very hard. It's like a rock now to prevent that it's destroyed. Uh, so this is really 
it's really cool to see but it's also something to turn very quiet because of all the dead soldiers that died here of course look this is a picture of how life how they were here so the casualties and just to look on the other side you cannot put your head up this is a, a, a pipeline that's it's like a telescope that they built so they can look here through a pipe and here is also a glass and then you can see what's on the other side otherwise if you put your head out dead <sighs> let's hope it doesn't come back here and i know it is war in ukraine and there is war in other parts of uh, of the world and i feel so sorry and why there's a big question why always for power for money that's that's the main thing or religion that's also a possibility but let's keep this let's keep this a reminder let's never forget the pictures the images that the for, for the horror of, of war look at that Woo. so we have done everything so now we're going to the sea my wife wants to see the sea every day it's possible it's not possible so today we're going to the sea and we're going to eat some desserts pancakes waffles belgium waffles ice cream ice cream that's possible let's go my wife really loves the ocean every time we are close until the coast she says i want to see the sea and i was saying yes i want to go to the ocean but not on the sand on the beach but then she says hey are there two seals on the beach that they are protecting so you were really we walk to the beach no where are we at the beach she knows how to trick me when i'm at the sea i love the sea really do i love the sound of the sea it's really calming but now she's really happy that we are going through to the water if i make, can make my wife happy yeah happy wife happy life Oh, 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 oh. Enjoy. Is it not me? Yep. Aha. Mmm. 